we just got done carrying in all the cabinets for the kitchen. I ordered them a while back and we had them in a shipping container for probably, uh, probably close to three months or a little bit more. But what we're doing right now is we're going to see where all the cabinets go, inspect them, make sure there's no problems with them, if there's any damaging, and then get it all lined out. As you can tell, there's a bunch of boxes here. But the reason for is I got to figure out where that range hood is supposed to go for the venting. And uh, it's best to just go ahead and place them where we want. Once we get that figured out, we can sheetrock the walls. Anyways, yeah, we're, we're going to see what happens here. So it's looking good. So it's a good thing that we're actually taking the cabinets and put them down here and measuring everything because we did find a little bit of a problem. This wall right here, we're going to have to cut it back a little bit. And the reason why is our refrigerator is going in this corner. Now you're probably wondering, why do we got to cut it back? Well, when you open your door to your refrigerator, it's actually not going to open all the way because this wall is sticking too far out this way, which is not a bad thing. And it's not going to be a problem because what we're going to do is since this opening is like a little over three feet wide, after we cut it out, it actually is going to be about four feet, which is the same width of the hallway. So it's actually going to work out really well. So what we got to do, take the sheets off. We got to move the wiring that's in the wall, shove it over just a little bit to here, and then put the sheets back on and it'll be good. But I got to crawl up in the attic and I got to move the insulation out of the way because otherwise it's going to probably drop through and create a mess here on the floor. So anyways, like I said, it's a good thing that we got that uh, measured out and figured out. And, and uh, otherwise we have a problem when we get done. And you guys probably are wondering what those screams and stuff are. Hey, what's up? Hey, Dad. Any words of wisdom? Hi, Bri. Hi. Say hello. Hello. Roscoe, what are you eating? Oh, that looks yummy. Can I have one? <laughs> I want one. <laughs> actually have this is the valve assembly for the mixing valve basically it controls if you want water to the shower head water to the spouts wherever you want and hot and cold but what I want to do is I don't want to just put some Teflon tape on these threads I'm gonna sweat them with solder so that way they don't leak because uh, you always have a chance with threads so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna use some solder and uh, sweat those things in there because seems logical and smart, I hope.
they're doing a great job on sanding this place down. I basically got all the mud done. And I finally, we were one sheet short of curdy board. And I went down to Great Falls, it's about 80 miles one way, picked it up. Just got done putting that on the ceiling. So now I can finish taping this shower and getting that all secure and ready for tile. So while they're sanding in there, I'm gonna start uh, taping and mudding on this, this uh, stand and shower. Okay, get busy. We are ready to start sheetrocking the ceiling in this bedroom right here. This morning I went ahead and finished up the plumbing that goes to this toilet right there. Yeah, I know. Procrastinating, but I got it done. Anyways, yeah, we're going to put sheetrock in the ceiling and then we can sheetrock all the walls here. And uh, then we'll probably move into the living room in this area and start sheetrocking this ceiling because this ceiling is ready to go. And uh, yeah, things are happening. So. Nick's over here looking busy. Uh -huh. Hey Nick, uh, what you doing there, bud? Crawling on your feet, bro. Why would you do something like that? Seriously, why? It is a dusty, dusty job that we're we're trying to clean up all the sheetrock dust. So I've been taking the leaf blower, blowing all the corners on the ceiling and letting it kind of settle down on the ground. A little dust in here. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. Yummy. And uh, my lovely wife is over here vacuuming like she should, you know? What you needed? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now that I helped you, you can get back to vacuuming. Like you should. Oh snap, I'm gonna get in trouble. Anyways, we're just cleaning it all up and making sure that the walls look good because we're gonna start shooting some primer and, uh, and then get some paint. But there's kind of a major inconvenience at the moment. <sighs> You're probably wondering, why is this wall not sheetrocked? Why is there a bunch of plastic over it? And why is there big holes behind the plastic with no insulation or windows? Well, that's because <laughs> it's been almost four months and we haven't gotten those windows yet. Yeah, nobody knows where they're at. And it's getting kind of frustrating because I can't do flooring in here. I can't do the painting on the ceiling or the faux beams that need to be done. And the sheetrock, or not the sheetrock, but the rock on the fireplace, because I need this in here. Well, if I do the flooring, it's gonna scratch up the floor. And I can't paint it completely because I need that to be sheetrocked so I can paint it. But we're waiting on windows. So this is what we're gonna do. Because we don't know when they're gonna show up, we're gonna just paint that side of the house and we'll probably just put a piece of plastic over this section here and then get the kitchen cabinets in 
and start doing the flooring and other stuff on that side and hopefully keyword hopefully in a few days I'm hoping in a few days we'll get those windows in so that way we can sheetrock this and get this done but we got to keep moving forward we can't just wait on those windows yeah a little little frustrating but we're like this close to uh, painting this side of the house oh yeah and then doors and trim looking good though ceiling's been blown off with a leaf blower and then we vacuum the walls with a vacuum cleaner and then vacuum the floor where actually quite well it's almost good enough to eat off of but I probably wouldn't so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime the walls now this is the laundry room then after that I'm gonna go into the master bath and then I'm gonna go into the closets and then the master bedroom and then probably work my way around into the kitchen area and if everything's going really well and i still got time i'm gonna go ahead and do the hallway and just see how things go Okay, so I decided to go in town, go to a parts store and grab a paint suit because I figured it's stylish and it's kind of been these days. But the other day when I was painting, I had paint everywhere. Yeah, I was, it's a messy job. But those that do it for a living, you guys are awesome. I wouldn't want to do it for a living. Anyways, I decided not to take the camera and record me shooting these little rooms and the reason why is it just splatters the camera beyond splattering and you guys get the idea it's all painted in here primed not painted primed but what i will do is i'll set the camera up on the far end of this room and i'm going to go ahead and, and just basically prime everything up this direction down the stairs a little bit and a really sweet thing arrived today and i've been foaming at the bit my windows finally came in, those bad boys. But it's super windy, it's like 50 mile an hour gusts outside and we probably won't be able to put them in for another two days. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime everything in here and then when we get the windows in, we'll sheetrock that and then I'll just prime that later. So, gotta get job done. There we have it. Everything upstairs is primed, except for, obviously, the sheetrock that will be on there. But that is coming very shortly. We're gonna get that done soon. Well, this is a good feeling to get this, get this done. It's been a long push, guys. It's been a very, very long push. And uh, we're getting close to five months now. And, uh, we're making progress. It's looking really good. I'm really happy about it. But we're not done yet, so got to keep pushing. And then we'll get, uh, get to a point where we'll start seeing flooring and cabinets, and that's coming up sh very shortly. So I'm excited about that. I think what I'm mostly excited, mostly excited about is to not see the big bills of all the stuff it is to build a house. It'd be nice to not write those checks anymore, which obviously I don't write because I'm dyslexic and that'd be my wife. But just knowing how much money goes out is, it's a lot, it's a lot. But anyways, all right. I'm gonna go take a shower, call it a day. Yep, painting is very delightful. I don't necessarily enjoy it. I honestly really don't like paint but apparently loves me, so. I mean, there's that. At least it's a one-way street on this point. But anyways, we're getting there. And honestly, I've not turned the camera on because it literally shoots a mist everywhere and it's gonna get all over my camera. 
and it's gonna look like a fog and you guys can't really see a whole lot anyways. So you're just gonna have to just understand that it's a process that I'm just not gonna show you guys. But the whole ceiling and everything in here is primed and the paint itself, I have that side of the house all done. You can't even tell the difference. I know it's like same stuff. Kitchen's all painted, master bedroom, um, closets, and laundry room, and master bath, and the hallway, and the office, that's all painted. But I still have to go on that side of the house and all up in here and get that done. But anyways, we're getting there. That's all that matters. Oh, gotta love it. I don't. But there's those that do, and good for you guys, because it's just not something I enjoy, so I'm, I'm glad you do. If, if you're one of those people. All right, I'm gonna put it down, keep painting, because I need to get this done. And it's Friday, and yeah, I wanna get this done today.